Hello, everybody, again. And I wanted to <clears throat> do this a little more thoroughly and more relaxed to share the lineage um, of my experience, which will be uh, overlap with many of you on a variety of levels. But I wanted to um, kind of highlight what lineage means and that the we are the beneficiaries of much wisdom and practice behind us and that um, these are not talents or skill sets that come out of the blue but they come from centuries uh, generations of passing down best practices, best ideas, best principles. And that's what I wanted to share with you that this is, um, says very little to do with me and a lot to do with the people that have come before and have shared so eloquently and generously um, with me, but also with many other people, uh, some of whom uh, maybe watching this right now. But I wanted to start by saying again that uh, my very first teacher was this man right here, Mike Maluski from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I met Mike at the Milwaukee Tai Chi Chuan Association in 1991. And um, my wife at the time, Laura Landis, was going to Mike, and I just saw how much it was <clears throat> benefiting her. And so I went and met Mike, and we started, and there was a class of, I think, 35 of us to start. Um, 12 of us made it all the way through in about nine months, and two of us are still practicing today, myself and Mike McCulloch. I believe Mike is still practicing in Milwaukee. But through Mike, I met Ben Lowe, standing next to Mike down here, and pictured here, but also right here. Ben Lowe, Benjamin Peng Jung Lowe, was um, the primary, it was Cheng Men Ching's senior student in North America. Uh, ben met Cheng Men Ching when he was uh, quite sick at the end of the Chinese Civil War, as part of the diaspora of the mainland Chinese to Taiwan, um, Ben went to Chang as a patient. And for the medicine, Chang gave Ben um, the practice of standing meditation to heal himself. Ben and Chang were probably of different societal castes. And that may have something to do with some of the transmission of the information. Cheng was, as far as I can tell, quite Confucian and hierarchical. Um, he, was, uh, he was involved in the monarchy in the sense that he um, participated in, the, in supporting the conservatives and a lot of that um, attitude. And I think he comes from a place of a time when China was losing a lot of their connections to their cultural past. And so there was a fierce holding on that was going on. Cheng was, a, was often called the master of five excellences, painting, calligraphy, poetry, medicine, and Tai Chi. And he was the last disciple of Yang Cheng Fu, who held the lineage of the whole Yang family through the 20s and up into the early 30s. And Cheng was actually a doctor to Yang Cheng Fu and um, eventually was given discipleship. Cheng also worked for the government, the nationalist government at the military academy, and that's where he developed the 37 posture. The, the 37 posture simplified Tai Chi form out of the 108 Tai Chi that was 
that he was taught through the Ang family. Ben Lo, doing Snape Creeps Down right here, was, uh, came to Cheng after the revolution or uh, in, on Taiwan and, um, and practiced the 37 posture simplified form and really was the primary um, person responsible for introducing it to Americans. Although Cheng did live here and taught at Shi Zhong, and there were several students that came out of that, that great school, um, been really disseminated uh, Yang style Tai Chi throughout North America throughout the course of his life. Um, and he just passed away several years ago now, but uh, just a beautiful being and very much a, um, a generous, loving uncle who would train us mercilessly <laughs> and um, very hard on us, but very tender and kind as well. And I loved him dearly. I love Ben. <clears throat> when I moved to Santa Fe in 1996, I met Robert Tangora. And Robert had been studying for quite a while at that point. Um, Robert was a student of Stan Israel's, who was one of the senior students of Cheng Menching in New York City. And so Robert learned in New York City and actually taught at Shur Zhong, Chen Menching's old school, but this was after Cheng Menching had passed. When Robert was a young man, probably in his early 20s, after college, he traveled to China and Asia for an extended period and encountered several great teachers, including Toxing Gen, who is from Malaysia, and Robert actually lived in close proximity to talk for six months and was um, given discipleship at the end of his stay. Robert in that time was the push ants champion of Singapore and um, came back to the United States to teach. This is Bruce Kumar Francis who was coming to Santa Fe and, and Robert became a student of Kumar Francis is and was probably one of Kumar's senior students um, while Robert was still alive. And Robert shared with us many of the teachings that he got from Bruce Kumar Francis. And I, I often um, think of how Robert talked about Bruce Kumar Francis and the teachings that he shared with us from him. So those are the Robert Tangora, part of my background. Robert was also a Wu style stylist and he brought Wang Ho Da, who was an indoor student of Mao Yu Liang, uh, the great Wu master from uh, Shanghai. And Wang Ho Da was one of the highest practitioners I ever had the chance to meet and touch. And um, he belongs in this category too, although he is not pictured. This is John Fung, Sifu John Fung, Dr. John Fung from Sydney, Australia. I met John through my good friend and longtime Tai Chi brother, Ray Abeda. I met Ray when I was helping Robert. I was one of Robert's senior students and I would go to El Paso with Robert to help teach um, in Ray's school and bring Robert's teachings to Ray's student. And that was in the early 2000s that we did that. This is also where I met uh, Wolf Carter, a very excellent human being and a good friend as well. And, uh, and then through those two guys and through John, I've met Michael Paler, who is up in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and is just a fantastic practitioner, a sweet and gentle man with um, a lot to offer, and I'm so appreciative.
But John's main, stu main teacher was Wei Shu Ren, pictured here, who passed away in 2013. John spent about 12 years with Wei Shu Ren and was deeply affected and, and advanced uh, tremendously through that time with Wei Shu Ren. Wei Shu Ren was a student of Wan Yong Quan, who was also a disciple of Yang Cheng Fu, along with Cheng Men Ching, pictured over there, Ben Mo's teacher. So Wan Yong Quan and Cheng Men Ching would have known each other. They f were from the same cohort, but they were separated in space. Wan, I don't believe, ever left mainland China after the revolution and Cheng had to flee to uh, Taiwan. So they didn't have a lot of contact with them. But they descended out of the same, out of the same central branch of the Yang family as um, expressed by Yang Cheng Fu. So that's a little bit of the Tai Chi lineage. In 2018, I was um, given discipleship as well in a great honor from John Fung in Australia to promote the Yang family Tai Chi of the Wei lineage. And I'm tremendously grateful and take it with great responsibility. And then finally, but not lastly, is a man that I've met just recently in the last three or four years um, and who has affected me deeply, and that is Ming Tong Gu. Ming Tong Gu is a Qigong specialist, healer. Uh, Ming Tong uh, grew up in China and was uh, eventually a disciple of Dr. Peng in Beijing, the medicineless hospital in Beijing. And Ming Tong also had um, great experiences with the Chen Buddhist um, lineage in Tibet and other Buddhist lineages, but, but he's primarily doing the uh, Qigong as taught to him by his teacher, uh, Dr. Peng. And that was many years ago. And I, I took a two week uh, retreat with Ming Tong several years ago and have uh, followed him closely. And some of the things that we will do are associated with that time when I met Dr. when I met Ming Tonggu. So that's about it. There's many other people in here. Kim Canselberger was one of Ben Lowe's uh, senior students that really helped me and helped me stabilize my practice. His brother, Weber Ingersoll, who is also a brother of mine, I, I consider to be a teacher and a great friend in, in the long tradition of the practice also from Kansas City, and many other people that are not mentioned right now. But these are the main people who I will comment on and, and talk about their practice methods and where they, um, where and why they uh, kind of adopted what they do. So that's it, thank you.